Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you drugstore dupes for the Dynasty Collection portion of House Lab's new makeup brand. Um, if you've been living under a rock, then you may not know <laughs> that Lady Gaga has a makeup brand now called House Laboratories, and uh, House Labs for short. And I've been trying to find dupes, and the first one that my I went to of all the collections, and there are six, is the Dynasty Collection, because I said, oh, that's such a pretty emerald green, that's really unique, I'll probably get that one because it's so unique. Um, no. <laughs> I thought it would be, but I actually found four dupes in my eyeshadow collection for that emerald green, and the one that I had on in my social media, let me insert a clip in case you didn't see that over the weekend. If that clip went by too fast for you, you can always just pause it if you want to see the details of it. So I wore that one over the weekend. That was NYX Jaded, which is that one right there. And um, that is still available as a single, although the NYX Prismatic eyeshadows are becoming increasingly more difficult to find. I have a NYX store um, within driving distance for me so I can get any NYX product I want or of course you can order things online but yeah the prismatic shadows are getting a little trickier to find but they still are out there at some stores but that was NYX Jaded and I felt like that was a really really close dupe for the color of the eyeshadow in the Dynasty collection which is called Dynasty. It's called Dynasty. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I wore that over the weekend and I felt like that was really, really close, but maybe just a tiny, tiny bit too dark. So I looked at my other eyeshadows that were in that ballpark for the color and I found three more that were lighter. But these three I feel like... Um, might be just a hint less green and a hint more blue than the actual Dynasty eyeshadow. And I'm calling it an eyeshadow, but that's not the technical name for it, but um, you know what I'm talking about. So I said, okay, why don't I use a different one today and, you know, then we can compare it to the um, promo picks for the Dynasty eyeshadow. And by the way, I can't post any of the promo picks because those are copyrighted pictures and this is a monetized video. So if I was to include one of those pictures in my video, it would get demonetized and I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so you'll have to go to the houselabs.com website yourself to see the picture of the pictures of the Dynasty collection. I was so glad they posted so many photographs on there. Um, you know, they've got swatches, they've got the products on people's faces, they've got pictures of the products in the packaging and just loads and loads of pictures because my goal here is I want to find dupes for drugstore dupes for all the products, all the collections within the brand. And um, so I'm starting with this one because this was the one that just popped out at me. But I'm going to have to buy quite a few products. Um, I've already got like a list of what I feel are going to be the closest drugstore dupes out there. And I don't have I have some things, but I don't have a lot of them, so I'm going to have to go out and buy them, which brings me to my next subject. Yes, the no buy is over. It is impossible for me to have a YouTube channel and be on a no buy. It's just not going to work. Um, this was a classic example of why it wouldn't work, because if I'm going to find drugstore dupes for everyone, then... What am I going to do? Just talk about them and then post pictures? No, I want to show you the actual product. It's bad enough that I won't be able to compare them swatch-wise to the actual brand that I'm talking about because I couldn't buy every single 
item on the website. Um, I bought the Metalhead collection. I really agonized over what I wanted to buy from House Labs and the way that they have the products on the website, um, they've got duos and they've got collections. And I would like to have bought individual products of exactly what I wanted because you don't get to choose what's in the duos. They're like pre-made duos. So I just ended up getting the Metalhead collection because I figured, okay, that way I can try the formula of one item from each part of the collection and see how the formulas are too. And that was the collection that um, jumped out at me second, we'll say, because this emerald green one really did jump out at me first, but if it was this easy to dupe, then I can't see buying it when I already have products that I can do that. Okay, so let's move on to the lips. If you need a lip liner, like the one in the Dynasty collection, which is called Rule. Um, MAC Spice, if you want a drugstore dupe, Milani Spice. That would be pretty much the same thing as theirs. I didn't need to wear a lip liner today because this lip product that I use does not require one because it's so saturated with pigment that you can just bring it right to the edge of your lips and you just don't need a liner. So I didn't do that because um, I don't have either one of those liners that I just mentioned to you. So I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. So the lipstick in that collection is called Attitude. Uh, not lipstick, lip gloss. Uh, it's called Attitude and it is a terracotta, as is the liner. Terracotta products at the drugstore are not really that plentiful. And the ones that there are, are usually not that pigmented. However, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Self Starter is a perfect match for the lip gloss that we're talking about by House Labs. This is a fantastic product, goes on beautiful, super saturated, nice and deep and dark, and just like the one that I'm duping. So what I did was I moisturized my lips really well and then put this on because this is a matte finish and the product that I'm duping is not a matte. Um, I believe that all the lip glosses are a pearl finish. So, you know, it's not the exact same finish, but because my lips are so moisturized, I do have a little bit of a shine, especially on the bottom lip there. And that's the other thing. Um, these dupes are not as far, they're, they're not the same format because like this is really a liquid lipstick, not a lip gloss. And then the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today, I didn't even tell you what eyeshadow I was wearing today. Oh man. Um, the eyeshadows that I'm going to be showing you are all powder. Okay, so I started talking about the NYX Jaded prismatic eyeshadow and then got sidelined. The one that I am wearing <laughs> is still available on the company's website, but I I know you wouldn't find this in a store. But this is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette water from their Zodiac collection. It is still online and I use this green shade right here. So I don't know. I feel like this is maybe not as much of an emerald. It has like a little bit too much of a blue tone to it, but it is very close. But I don't know, the jade one is like a tiny, tiny bit darker than the original that I'm duping. So I don't know. I think that any of these would give you the desired look. Now I have a couple others that are no longer, no longer available, but I wanted to mention them just in case you have them in your collection, you could just use these instead. Do you remember when Sinful Colors singles were at Dollar Tree? The Shade Boss singles? Well, this is the color Evil Eye, and this is another one. This one is a little more green, so that might even work better than the one that I have on, because the one I have on is a tiny bit more blue. So this might be even better. So if you bought this when it was at Dollar Tree, you could use that. 
And then the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection, if you bought the eyeshadows from there. This shade right here in the Hasta La Costa Baby palette. This one is very similar to the one that I'm wearing from the Zodiac collection, so I feel like it's maybe just a tiny, tiny bit more blue than it should be for, for a dupe. But these are very, very close, you guys, and you can get the general look, especially with this lipstick. This lipstick is dead on. If this was a pearl finish, this would be the exact same thing. So those are my dupes from the Dynasty collection, and I am going to go to the store and buy the other things that I feel I dupes for the other collections. Um, some of them, I hope I can find them because, you know, some of these are not brand new products, so they might not be the easiest to find, but I'm going to do the best I can. And then there was one product out of this whole thing that I don't even know if I'll be able to call it a dupe, but it was the closest thing I could find, and I don't really think there is a dupe for it. Um, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So ideally, I would like to do one video a day for each collection. Um, as far as this launch and everything goes, I thought I had read somewhere that the website was only going to be selling this product for 48 hours. I don't know if that's true or not because I haven't read it anywhere else other than the one place that I saw that. So it was my understanding that they were going to have everything up there for 48 hours and then that was it and ship you the product in September. And this way they can gauge, they'll know exactly how much they have to make and then they'll know how much more they'll need when they do a relaunch at a later date. So, um, yeah, if you got anything from the collection, let me know. Thank you to the person that responded to me on Twitter today and told me that she's, she got the chained ballerina collection. Um, but yeah, tell me which one of the collections you bought or did you get any of the duos? They had lip liner duos and they had uh, eyeshadow duos, they're not technically eyeshadows because the product is like a multi-purpose thing that can be used a lot of different ways. So they're not technically eyeshadows, but to me they're like liquid eyeshadows. So, uh, and they also had duos for the lip glosses. The lip glosses look very sheer and not pigmented to me, it, but I'm dying to try those lip liners. Those look amazing. So. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next edition of this series. I guess we'll have to call it a series. Bye.